David, welcome to Bay TV. This is what you're talking about really tonight, isn't it's it? pretty well what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, we are we're talking about a brand, the new ecology of broadcasting and why the BBC's role is important. And uh, the question I should have been asked outside is, you know, why does the BBC have to do everything? The BBC does everything because we pay for it to do everything. Uh, that's its role. You've been in the business a few years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what sort of changes have hit you with local television? With local television? Mm. Um, well, first of all, what's interesting to me, I remember City Television in Toronto. It was the first time I ever came across local television. I thought it was fantastic. I then came back to the UK and I was told it was unaffordable. That we did, and I said, well, hang on, why they can do it in Toronto? We can't do it. Um, and I think that myth that television was a, had a kind of quality level that had to be maintained, and therefore if you weren't paying top this and top that and top dollar for everything, you couldn't do it. That myth pertained for a long time. And it's only, I think, with, with basic development of new technology uh, that we began to bust the myth and realise that actually what people want is engagement, that more, most people are interested in what's happening in their localities. Most people are more interested in what's happening in their localities actually than what's happening in the nation at large. And uh, that it's been an unfulfilled dream of many, many people that local television would take off. Looking across the UK today, uh, what's your take on local TV now? Has, has it lived up to what was going on, say, in the 50s when TV started being uh, broadcast from different areas around the country? There was local news and so on. Has well, it lived up to the experiments that were going on back in the 50s and early 60s? I think yes and no. And it's, it's really, there is no s short answer to this. I was a, d a director, board director of Anglia Television for 20 years. We served our region brilliantly, as did Granada here. Uh, in the 1992 Edu uh, Broadcasting Act, that was in a sense scrapped. The moment each, each a channel could take over another channel, a station could take over another station, it was, it was game over. And the tragedy we have is actually we've got a less plural re regional broadcasting system than we've ever had. That's to say, and I'll give you a very good example. Uh, 20 years ago, every single MP in the country, and indeed aspirant MP in the country, would get their face on television around about once every month, six weeks, because there was regional broadcasting, and that's what you did. Today, a backbench MP of either party's got about as much chance of being on television as a, as, as a frankly, whatever it is in snow. It's, it's got no chance. So in fact, what we've actually suffered from, it's a very interesting subject, it obsesses me, we've actually managed to develop a democratic deficit. That's to say people are less familiar with their MP than they were 20, 30 years ago. How mad is that? So we've got more media, more channels, more everything, but most people in Britain don't even know what their MP looks like. Outside of politics, well, what should... <laughs> I'm, I'm searching, <laughs> still searching. What else should local TV be concentrating on, would you say? Well, I've always believed that things like, for example, local planning committees, local planning decisions, which affect everybody, local council are, are, could, could all be beamed and should be. We should actually know what our councillors are up to, we should know the decisions they make, and certainly in the case of big decisions that affect everybody, we should know why they're, you know, who voted for what. Um, so I think the penetration of council chambers could go a lot further. Penetration of, of, um, of let's say, local planning decisions. Basically, when you go back, there's nothing that the, the classic local newspaper did that, t that broadcast could, shouldn't do. Weddings, you know, I actually, I've always believed that basically if you could cover six or seven local weddings on a, on, a, on a Saturday afternoon, that would make very compelling viewing for a lot of people on the, the following day. Mm -hmm. Things like that. Connecting and communication. Connecting I mean, and communication. Also, when you actually look at where society is going, the interesting thing is I think community, community is becoming more important. I think people now are concerned. There's a whole slew of things they can't affect. There's things they can't even get their heads around. What they can affect is their own community. So the more you know about the community, the more you know about what drives that community, what the... Uh, imperatives are that community the more able you are to play a to play a role in it david thank you so much for your time really appreciate it there's nothing there guys you were particularly interested in, but i hope at least no I, I, absolutely i, actually, I, I believe very said. very very strongly this is not this is not some bullshit i've been and making this argument for 30 years i've been watching tv since i was a boy in the 50s and i feel equally passionate and there are a lot of things you said there that i know with neil from Bay TV at the back there. I think it would have resonated with him yeah, too. Absolutely. So yes, yeah. you no, do yourself down. <laughs> very kind. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.